What's going on guys? I am back here at Dell Air RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. Last time I was out here, I spotted a really interesting floor plan for a travel trailer. I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. So last time we were here, we took a look at the Sprinter and I was talking to you about weight ratings and what's safe to tow with certain types of trucks. Well, when I wrapped up filming, I went inside this unit right here because it's roughly the same length and roughly the same gross vehicle weight, about 11,500 pounds. And I wanted to take a closer look at this because it's very impressive. It reminds me a lot of a fifth wheel and the type of floor plan that I truly prefer. So let's take a look at this open range and see what it's all about. Starting from the outside of this coach, frameless windows. It has a very clean white appeal to the outside of it. And it has these interesting neutral stripes and colors and this is pretty reminiscent of most of your open range units one thing that i'm not a huge fan of i don't think it's a negative thing but at the same time i'm just not a big fan of is these cable driven slide systems i know that keystone puts these on pretty much all of their units or at least most of them and it's starting to become more popular on open range and other brands it's because it doesn't really take up a lot of space. So if you look underneath the slide, you pretty much get a completely clean underbelly to your slides. And as long as it was installed properly, it really should be a system that gives you years of function without any problems. However, in my opinion, I'm just a little leery of a cable-driven slide system personally. And no real basis for that other than the fact that I guess I'm just used to your traditional rack and pinion style system. One thing that I really like about open range coaches are the fact that they have this friction hinge system which holds the door in place. I know a lot of other RV brands are using systems like that, but it's nice to know that I believe every open range is going to come with that. This is the 323 RLS rear living room floor plan. It has the unique key to like system where pretty much everything that has a key access is keyed to the same main key. This is the four season protection package. Going up into this unit. This has a really nice rear living room layout. Even the ceiling height is a little higher than you might expect in a travel trailer. I can touch it, but I'm probably gonna imagine it's right at about seven feet, seven feet three inches in that range. It's pretty tall. It has nice tall slides. This is very reminiscent of a fifth wheel. It has a lot of width to it as well. You can see it has your traditional theater style seating with heat, massage, recline, all of that built in. Nice rear sofa, fireplace, TV above it, a ton of countertop space. Has a good size island, lots of countertop space on each side of the stove, microwave, nice trimming. Has a residential refrigerator. This is something that, even though you're starting to see them in more travel trailers, you're not seeing full-size residential refrigerators like this coach has. Plus, it has a really awesome pantry here. That goes back rather far, too. It goes back about a foot and a half. Very nice setup. Now, something very unique about this travel trailer that some of you may have noticed that most travel trailers don't have is the Whisper Quiet AC system. That is definitely something a lot of people would opt to have in a travel trailer, but unfortunately, most of them haven't been putting them in. This specific coach comes with a Whisper Quiet AC unit. Price tag on this unit is $43,900. The MSRP is $58,749. So this is definitely not what I would consider an entry-level travel trailer. This is definitely more like a fifth wheel, but in a travel trailer format. There's your main control panel. And then you have a nice coat closet right here. Working our way to the bathroom. It has a very large bathroom. Very large bathroom. One of the areas that you may not be able to pick up real well is the overall width. So from the shower here to the door, you have a tremendous amount of room each side of the toilet, probably a foot on each side. This is definitely a travel trailer that folks who want a comfortable size bathroom would enjoy. Now here is your shower unit. Again, because the ceiling is so high, there's a little bit of a step up here. It looks like it's probably five inches. But even if you get inside of the shower unit, 
you still have probably a good amount of headroom left. I'd imagine you could probably be 6'5 and be comfortable in this shower. Moving along to the master bedroom, this has a king size bed, very tall slide. This is the size of slide that you would expect to get in a fifth wheel that's a full profile unit. And they put it, of course, in the front of this travel trailer. But the front bedroom area feels, again, very reminiscent of a large fifth wheel. Now, it does not have a Whisper Quiet AC unit in here, but it is a thermostat controlled unit. So they don't expect you to reach up and try to turn the AC on. Huge closet area, along with washer dryer connection. This is just something else that people generally don't expect to see in a travel trailer. A lot of width to this, so it seems like you'd have plenty of room to put in just about any size of washer and dryer you might need. This is going to be designed more for a combo unit, but if you remove the shelving here, you could probably put a full stackable unit in here. Just a tremendous amount of closet space. Let's say that you are looking for a travel trailer because perhaps you keep things in the back of your truck or you have a truck you're not comfortable with putting a hitch in the back or using it to haul a fifth wheel, but you're looking for a floor plan that's going to feel quite a bit like a fifth wheel, pretty much exactly like a fifth wheel. The only real difference is you're not going to have the step up or the stairs that take you to the front overhang area. Aside from that, this has every feature that you would really expect to see in a fifth wheel, but it's a travel trailer. The more I walk around this RV and the better understanding I have of the overall weight and length of this coach, I would definitely recommend that you haul something like this with a dually. It's going to give you far more stability and it's going to be a more comfortable ride. This RV does have front and rear electric stabilizers. It also has an alignment system and it uses a feature that a lot of open range RVs have, which are these galvanized little areas to protect the underside in the event of a blowout or just from spraying debris, rocks, and things to the underbelly of your coach. One thing you'll also notice is that it rides on a 12-inch I-beam frame, and it has a 2-inch boxed section that is welded underneath it. This is going to have a very, very durable frame and a very rigid frame for a travel trailer. These are features that, honestly, you really don't see with most travel trailers. This does have the upgraded Lippert Equiflex suspension. Very nice. And it does have the strong arms, which help add stability to your trailer when you're set up. Basically, those little extension rods right there. You tighten them down, and then you just hit those stabilizer jacks a little bit, and it really keeps the unit stable inside when you're moving around. Another thing that I would like to see upgraded would be these Westlake tires. These are 10-ply E-rated tires. I would really like to see an F or even a G-rated tire on a coach this long and heavy. I like the fact that even though there's no outside kitchen on this unit, you still get an outside propane connection so you can feed it to a barbecue grill. Now something else I really didn't expect to see on a travel trailer is it has a dedicated wet bay. Oftentimes, you just have all your connections on the side of the coach and no dedicated sealed area. This specific coach has all your connections inside of its own wet bay closet door, which is really nice. Again, very reminiscent of a fifth wheel, but on a travel trailer. With slam latch. Something that's kind of cool is the fact that they give you this access hatch to get behind your refrigerator. So you have the ability to turn off the water that goes to your ice maker. It really helps when you're winterizing your unit to keep the water line from freezing. Has a diamond plate rear bumper, LED taillights, as well as pre-wired for a Furion backup camera that you would mount up there. And a ladder to take you to the top service your ACs or your roof. Now a lot of you may be wondering where the pass-through storage is. You have a little bit of storage right here. There's no door on the other side. They put the storage underneath the bed. So underneath this slide is the storage door. So the storage under here is roughly four feet deep and about five feet long. Looks to be about 14 inches tall. So there is a good amount of storage here. You can definitely put tables, chairs, Anything that you would normally put in a pass-through storage, you could easily put in here. But what's nice about this is the exterior width to actually get things in here. Oftentimes, a travel trailer is going to have a pass-through storage right here, but it's a relatively small door that you really can't fit your chairs, tables, and things like that into. On this specific coach, you have this much wider area that you can easily put your supplies into. And you can access them from the master bedroom underneath the bed. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little overview of this open range. 323 RLS. 
This is a really, really cool floor plan. It has a lot of features that you would really exclusively expect to see on a fifth wheel, but on a travel trailer. Again, 11,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating. This thing is a very heavy, a very long, and a very tall travel trailer. If you're gonna tow this thing, I would absolutely recommend a dually to tow this. If you have a single rear wheel, one ton truck, you could probably use that. Just keep in mind, if you're going to some areas where it could get very windy, where there's a lot of trucks, basically a lot of things to create a side wind that can really affect the stability of your trailer, that's going to transfer over to your truck. And having a single rear wheel truck is going to be far more impacted by that than a dually would be. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.